Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to change the font size of labels of a ggplot2 facet grid. So in the video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the data that we can create with lines 2 to 6 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that a new data frame object appears at the top right of RStudio. And if we want to plot these data, we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package. And this is what we can do with the code of lines 8 and 9. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with line 9 of the code. So after running these lines of code, we are able to apply the functions of the ggplot2 package. And if we want to draw a basic facet grid with the ggplot2 package, we can apply the code that you can see in lines 11 and 12. And if you run these lines of code, a new plot object is appearing at the top right, which is called ggp. And we can also plot this object by running line 13 of the code. And then you will see at the bottom right in our studio that a new facet grid is created. And this facet grid is showing our data and the three groups of our data. As you can see, the text of these labels group 1, group 2 and group 3 is relatively small. So if we want to change the font size of this text, then we can use the theme function as you can see in line 16 of the code. And within the theme function, you need to specify the strip text x argument. And in this case, we are using a element text size of 30. However, you could specify whatever number you want at this point and the larger number you use, the larger the labels will be. So if you run lines 15 and 16 of the code, you will see at the bottom right that the same plot is created, but this time the labels of our facet grid are much larger than before. So in this video, you have learned how to increase or decrease the font size of a ggplot2 facet grid. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.